And the first time countdown is over two stories tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze to right winger Jonah Goldberg. His latest fantasy is a column entitled Obama's Getting Off Easy, which includes this delusion, quote, if Obama were a white Democratic nominee named Barry O'Malley, the GOP would be going after him twice as hard. Right. You'd be inciting your voters twice as often to compare Barry O'Malley to Osama bin Laden. And your campaign would have been reduced twice as quickly to reminding them that Barry O'Malley's middle name was the same as the last name of a deposed Middle East dictator, Barry Shaw O'Malley. Our runner-up, David Frum, the Republican hack who invited on Rachel's show, didn't have the stones to admit he had been forcefully critical of the McCain campaign's not-so-benign neglect of the hate mongers in its audiences, and instead tried to draw some equivalency between those insiders of violence and Rachel's program. Well, he got his head handed to him, politely, of course, it is Rachel, and it should have ended there, but today in a blog post, Frum lied about why he was asked on the program to begin with. He wrote, just before I traveled to Afghanistan, I accepted an invitation to appear on the Rachel Maddow show. Anyway, I was unprepared for the sarcasm and anger of what I saw, so it was my time to go on air, and instead of being asked about Afghanistan, I was asked about how awful and hateful the John McCain campaign was, I got a little grouchy. Frum's implication there is that he was asked onto the show to talk about Afghanistan and that he was ambushed or sandbagged with questions about McCain. He was not. The pre-interview conducted with Mr. Frum as a pre-interview was conducted usually same day with all guests on all such shows references these topics and these topics only. GOP chaos on using airs on temperament on Obama presidency on Palin North Korea Pakistan gaffes. He never mentioned Afghanistan and Afghanistan was never on the menu. But our winner, Billo the Clown, listen to this for moral equivalency. Slamming Congressman Lewis for slamming Senator McCain for not saying anything about the threats made against Obama at McCain and Palin rallies. I didn't hear Congressman Lewis say a word when the Democratic candidate showed up at the Daily Coast convention, did you? No politician should ever go to the Daily Coast convention, but it is blatantly dishonest for Obama partisans to scream about unfair attacks when they approve of the same actions on their behalf. You know, normally I go for big comedy payoff with O'Reilly, but trying to somehow equate people shouting at McCain rallies about anybody, kill him, somehow equating that to web posts, even the worst of them at the Daily Coast ever, is just dangerous. Bill, no funny voices, no Frank Burns, no loofah references. You, sir, are playing with a loaded gun, and you do not have the brains to check to see if the safety is still on. Bill O'Reilly, today's worst person in the world.